Hi, I'm Jeff Teeper, and I lead the product teams that are focused on building the next generation of collaborative experiences in Microsoft 365. The new realities of hybrid work require structural change to how we build and interact with applications. We need a new class of applications centered around collaboration versus individual productivity. Apps that enable synchronous and asynchronous modes of collaboration with real-time meetings, ad hoc messaging, content creation, automation of business processes, all in a single organizing layer. Microsoft Teams was built for this very purpose of enabling collaboration. And with over 145 million people using Teams every day, Teams has become the digital platform for work and learning. This creates a net new creative and economic opportunity for developers to build the next generation of applications where collaboration is at the core, allowing people to work from anywhere, at any time, and in any way. We call this new class of apps collaborative apps. With collaborative apps, end users can easily work with others to complete their projects and stay in the flow of work without needing to context switch across multiple apps and data. For developers, we want to make building collaborative apps easy. Use your current skills to integrate existing apps right into Microsoft Teams. With standard JavaScript technologies and just a few APIs, you can plug into Teams messages, channels, and meetings. There are hundreds of ISVs, like ServiceNow and Workday and Adobe and SAP, and many others doing this on our platform today. Next, we're working to simplify development so that when you build an app for Teams, it works across all platforms, Windows, Mac, web, iOS, Android, and Linux. Our goal is to significantly reduce the learning and work for developers to create this next wave of apps. Build once, deploy anywhere. We want to support developer choice. The Microsoft Cloud offers a full stack of technologies to build collaborative apps. For developers who choose to build a new app, you can pick and choose our technologies based on your needs. Let's look at the layers. First, Teams serves as the interface where users can stay in the flow of their work with these new collaborative apps. You can connect your existing services, whether it's a packaged SaaS offering or your custom apps, into a growing number of integration points in Teams to streamline work for everybody from the C-suite to frontline employees. Next, you can use the Power Platform to quickly build line of business apps and bots and even simple workflows with Power Automate. You can empower developers to tap in to the full power of Azure Pass services with things like functions, cognitive services, and API management to build custom events, intelligence, and APIs aligned with your business needs. Next layer, you can tap into the Microsoft Graph, which securely connects the data across Microsoft 365. That's communications, content, and people with privacy, security, compliance, and search, all powered by Microsoft AI. A key part of the graph is SharePoint, the most flexible content platform in the industry that recently passed 100 petabytes of new content added by users and apps every month. And then we have Dataverse, which is the best way to create structured line of business data that your organization depends on for your critical processes every day. You can then build your solutions on top of Azure Active Directory for identity management and access controls. And then these apps can build across a spectrum from low-code tools like Power Apps to professional developer tools such as Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. And you can manage your entire application lifecycle with GitHub. We are excited to deliver the fastest growing ecosystem and the most flexible platform to create these transformative collaborative applications. Now, let me transition to today's news to help you target this opportunity right away. Microsoft Teams has become the new platform for work and learning. And to enable our developer ecosystem to innovate on top of chat, meetings, and collaboration, we've delivered rich extensibility options in Teams. I'd next like to welcome my colleague Archana to share much more about our latest platform innovations and developer tools. 
Thanks, Jeff. Last fall, we made Meetings Platform generally available. Thanks to several partners that have integrated with the Meetings Platform and enabled users to have even more productive meetings. Now, let me show you new features that will let you integrate more deeply and broadly across the Meetings lifecycle. First, I am very excited to announce the ability for apps to integrate with the shared meeting stage, which enables users to collaborate using your apps in real time. This has been the most demanded features by our partners. Partners such as Mural can enable users to seamlessly promote a Mural board from the meeting site panel to the meeting stage, where every participant can interact and collaborate live in the meeting. Microsoft Teams is all about collaborative teamwork, and this feature just brings it home for applications to enable teamwork within meetings. This is in preview now, and you can integrate by adding the meeting stage context in your app manifest. Like Jeff mentioned, Teams enables you to build collaborative apps that integrate with synchronous and asynchronous collaboration modalities, enabling seamless workflows in Teams and in other applications. We know that often the trigger for a meeting starts outside Teams, like a customer incident getting logged in your ICM tool. And throughout the meeting and beyond, your incident management tool needs to be updated with key information from the meeting. Let me show you how ServiceNow is automating incident management leveraging Teams. When a major incident gets logged in my ServiceNow app, I can create a conference bridge right from ServiceNow. This will nudge the participants I added to join the bridge. Once in the meeting, I can use the ServiceNow meeting app to view and collaborate on the incident details. And once done, my ServiceNow dashboard gets automatically updated with participants, recording, and all the relevant information from the meeting. Next, let me show you the power of leveraging graph APIs to build media-aware meeting bots that can enable a broad spectrum of powerful meeting scenarios. This summer, we will be enabling applications to get real-time access to meeting audio and video via Graph APIs. You can see one scenario that this functionality unlocks with Interprefy, which enables on-demand language and American Sign Language translation service right in the meeting. We are making these updates with trust and security at the center. That is, these APIs will have resource-specific consent enabled, so IT admins can view these permissions from Teams Admin Center and ensure that such applications have access to just the meeting they have been added to. In meetings, it is the people that matter the most. Every feature and app is in their service. And what better way to enable people-centric experiences than the ability to customize the scene in which the participants meet I am very excited to share with you that we are making Together Mode scenes extensible, enabling developers or even the end users to create tailored scenes for their meetings. Anybody can use the Scene Designer tool from the new developer portal. Using this is as simple as dragging an image, configuring the number of participants and their position. You can even assign role-based seating to the participants and grab a link and share it with anyone. Or you can publish the scene broadly in the Teams store as well. Today's workplace also is no longer contained by the four walls of the office. Collaboration extends beyond your organization to customers, partners, and others who you need to meet with. Azure Communication Services allows your customers to experience voice, video, and chat experiences through a very familiar user interface that can be embedded in a custom app or in the website. Or meet your customers where they already are with SMS and telephone connectivity. Now, Azure Communication Services with Teams interoperability allows Microsoft Teams users inside your organization to connect with Azure Communication apps directly. And with the Azure Communication Services UI library, you can quickly integrate these communication experiences into custom applications. The UI library provides out-of-the-box components like laying out a media grid or call control buttons like mute and share screen for you to reuse. With shifting demands and asynchronous operations, organizations rely on custom business processes for efficient collaboration. 
With flexibility, speed of custom app development, and collaboration in mind, we continue to integrate Microsoft Power Platform more completely within Teams. You can build low-code apps with Power Apps right within Teams. Using a GUI-based canvas, you can build a mobile and or, or a desktop UI app quickly, speeding up development time. You can create functions for an app to make it more useful to end users quickly and easily using the new PowerFX open source language. Also, you can set up the data for your apps right from within Teams using Dataverse for Teams. With Dataverse for Teams, it's easy to manage app data and connect to data stored in Azure. Once the app is complete, you can easily share with the team, with a security group, or you can publish to an organization's app store with permission from IT admin. Once published, it's easy for users in an organization to find apps available to them under the Built for Your Org and Built by My Colleagues sections. If you are a professional app developer looking to build a sophisticated app for Teams, then the Teams Developer Toolkit provides a complete end-to-end -end development experience from creating an application through iteration introduction. You can get started with the tools you are already familiar with, including Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, CLI, or even GitHub Code Spaces for remote development. The Teams app platform is built on open web standards, so you can use the frameworks you already know and love as a developer to build apps. Let me show you a quick demo here. The fastest way to build your first Teams app is with templates and samples in GitHub Code Spaces. With one click, GitHub Code Spaces creates and opens a pre-configured environment optimized for Teams development. I can also launch these templates directly inside Visual Studio Code. To launch my first application, I will click the debug button, which prompts me to log into my Microsoft 365 tenant on my first deployment. My app automatically launches in Teams, and when I click Login, it automatically authenticates me, fetches some details from the Microsoft graph, like my name, and presents a Teams native user interface with fluent controls and theming. The app is automatically available for me to test in other contexts, like the Teams mobile client. The Teams toolkit has simplified authentication to just one line of code. I can also access an authenticated Microsoft Graph client again with just a single line of code. As I make changes to my source code, changes are applied in real time to my running app with hot reload without having to rebuild and deploy for rapid iteration. Visual Studio Code automatically enables me to debug both my front-end and back-end code with full support for breakpoints, watches, and locals. Let's set a breakpoint in my Azure Functions API. When I save a to-do, the breakpoint is hit in my API, and the debugging pane populates with data. My app is ready to distribute to my users in my organization. I can publish directly to my Teams tenant app store or to all Microsoft Teams tenants via Partner Center directly from my developer tools or from a CI CD pipeline. The new developer portal, formerly known as Teams App Studio, provides you developers with a centralized app management experience, enabling you to easily design, manage, monitor, and gather insights on your Teams apps. Developer portal is accessible via the Teams client and on the web. Today, I showed you several enhancements to Meetings platform. We discussed building mobile-first Teams app experiences and enhancements to our low-code and professional developer tooling to build apps even more easily. We are so excited to see what you build next. Back to you, Jeff. We can't wait to see the collaborative apps that you'll build. These apps will transform organizations and grow many SaaS apps and consulting businesses faster than ever with the latest Teams platform, Visual Studio, and Power Platform innovations. We're continuing to transform collaboration with the latest updates on fluid components from Microsoft 365. Today, I am excited to announce the preview of fluid components in Teams. 
Users can create and edit live components like lists and tables and tasks directly in chat, and these are shareable across Office apps like Outlook. Use Fluid components to ideate and create and decide together while holding fewer meetings and minimize the need for long chat threads. Team members can work on components asynchronously or in real time no matter where or when they work. And you can pin components to specific chats, providing team members with quick access to the latest information. Plus, they can easily access the components across devices, including mobile, ensuring collaboration continues no matter what the surface. And they can also include others in the team effort by copying the live component to Outlook and seamlessly continuing to collaborate there across Outlook and Teams. Collaborative apps enabled by Teams and end-user experiences like Fluid Components help people in your organizations quickly align across Teams and get work done efficiently. And what further enhances these experiences are the rich data sources and insights, like documents and lists and tasks and people that give components and apps context. And in Microsoft 365, that is all driven by the Microsoft Graph. The Graph brings together your organization's data from across Microsoft 365 in a logical way, building on the connections between people and powered by secure machine learning. And your apps can access data in the Microsoft Graph in a single secure REST API. Here's an overview of the graph. Every day, the people in your organization are hard at work. Writing, presenting, meeting, assigning, completing, searching, sorting, solving, chatting, smiling, laughing, in their homes, at their desks, anywhere. They're doing it all in Microsoft 365. Using the familiar services they've known and loved, maybe all their lives, as well as new solutions for an ever-changing world. The data that describes all this activity, the teamwork, meetings, conversations, presentations, calendars, tasks, and more. The essence of your organization's work is the fabric of Microsoft Graph. Accessible to developers through a simple REST-based endpoint. And built with enterprise-grade security and scalability at its core, it's the API to your organization. With Microsoft Graph, developers around the world, working in any language, can build experiences that integrate seamlessly with an organization's unique patterns of productivity. And just as easily, bring information into the familiar surfaces of our own Microsoft 365 services to create applications that are more personal, more intelligent, more secure, more collaborative. Over 300 million users work with Microsoft Graph-powered apps built by our partners and our customers, all to form a deeper connection with Microsoft 365. Microsoft Graph, let your organization's data work for you. Today, we are excited to unveil some of the latest features we're adding to the Microsoft Graph to enable this new wave of apps with robust security and privacy. And to show that, let's check in with Yina. Thanks, Jeff, and hello, everyone watching Build This Year. I am Yina, and I'm going to cover the news about three key topics for developers and IT professionals in relationship with Microsoft Graph. Well-being, security, and workflow automation. Let's jump right in to get started. Over the past year, we've learned a lot about how remote and hybrid work impacts employees and their well being. We've learned this by analyzing productivity data generated by employees right here at Microsoft and LinkedIn. And that data, it came from Microsoft Graph, our Microsoft Graph. So it wasn't really a coincidence that earlier this year, we announced Microsoft Viva to help organizations around the world optimize their workforce experience and help their employees thrive. Every single experience in Viva is powered by Microsoft Graph. Of course, it's built, so it's all about developers. And I'm happy to announce the first of many planned extensibility points for Viva. Viva connection cards are now available in preview with the new release of the SharePoint framework. With this release, you can now use out-of-the-box or custom web parts to build Viva community dashboards, news feeds, and employee-focused resources optimized for any platform or any device. Now, while we believe that employee well-being is a top priority for every organization, we know that for you, developers, and for the IT admins evaluating your solutions, the security challenges surrounding remote or hybrid work are even a greater priority. 
every IT administrator should know that we're making significant investments in our Microsoft 365 app certification program to give you peace of mind on how users adopt third-party applications in a secure way. At the same time, every developer should know about our new authentication and security feature announcements. First, the preview of continuous access evaluation. Now you can continuously monitor resources for security threats and revoke access tokens based on critical events or policy evaluation, rather than simply relying on a short token lifetime. Second, the new authentication methods API for multi-factor authentication. So you can manage access to the data and resources in your app using primary, two-step or step-up authentication and also invoke a self-service password reset process. And last but not least, we're announcing general availability of the external identity APIs to ensure that your applications can establish secure B2C user interactions using predefined configurable policies while your users use their everyday accounts to register with your solution. Now, we've talked a lot about making work healthier and making work more secure. Now let's talk about making work easier, contextual, and connected. Customers and partners are always asking us how to bring more data into Microsoft Graph and surface it in different parts of Microsoft 365 experiences. And this is exactly what Microsoft Graph Connectors enable. As a developer, you can onboard, index, and surface metadata to enrich existing datasets within Microsoft 365. Using Microsoft Graph Connectors in your applications unlocks participation in core experiences like Microsoft Search and eDiscovery. Now, let me emphasize this one more time because it is really important. Apps that leverage Microsoft Graph Connectors can surface content across all Microsoft 365 experiences in the experiences that hundreds and millions of customers spend a lot of hours every single day. For example, in Windows, SharePoint, Office, and Teams. Today, many of our partners are creating experiences that take advantage of all these highly visible canvases within our applications. Plus, as a developer providing reusable people-centric experiences, it all comes together with adaptive cards. Adaptive cards allow you to inject actionable content into familiar apps like Outlook, Teams, or your own web applications. Today, we are officially launching the universal actions for adaptive cards. You can now build and implement an adaptive card using the Azure Bot framework, built once and seamlessly reuse across Outlook and Teams. Now let's thread all of these announcements together and show some of them in action using a demo. As a working parent, over the last year, I've experienced the challenges of navigating remote and hybrid education for my kids. And I know that it has caused many kids to struggle. So I'm going to share with you a solution built by one of our partners, Ekerbolt, that brings together all of this technology and connects students who need support with counselors, and if necessary, refer them to external specialists for care. In Ekerbolt's solution, counselors immediately see data from Microsoft Graph, appropriate contextual information about the student, including important people, helpful documents, and recent conversations. If a referral is needed for a student, an adaptive card will show up already pre-populated, making the process super fast and very accurate. But what's new here is that this referral card is using universal actions. So when it's sent, it shows up in the specialist teams and Outlook clients across platforms and devices. This experience is powered by an easy to use bot service so that whenever and wherever the specialist responds, everything remains synchronized. Now, Ekervolt is also using Microsoft Graph Connectors to move data into Microsoft Graph, making it incredibly easy for students to find secure, personalized content from their counselors through enterprise search or recommended file list in Office, right alongside the familiar PowerPoint, Word, and Excel documents. What's more, the connector enables secure access to Ekervolt's cloud, enabling program administrators to easily audit process compliance to ensure the best care and outcomes for every kid. This is a very powerful combination of Microsoft 365 data moving into Ekervolt's tools and their data moving into Microsoft 365 in a compliant way. Ekervolt is delivering all of this value using Microsoft Graph. This is one example of many, and I'm looking forward to see what you will build. The compelling collaborative apps needed for hybrid work are centered around people, 
and it is the Microsoft Graph that enables the developers to create them quickly and securely. We believe the combination of the Microsoft Graph and Microsoft Teams is the best platform for this next wave. Our own developers are building on it with our innovative Microsoft Viva apps, and we're excited for you to do this as well. Productivity depends on a range of apps built for Microsoft Windows in the web. Windows is as essential as ever. It's delivering an indispensable platform across an incredible range of devices, keeping people connected and productive across their homes, schools, offices, factory floors, and beyond. I'm excited to pass it over to my colleague, Marianne, to share the latest Windows features for developers. Thanks, Jeff. I'd like to share our latest update on the Windows developer tools called Project Reunion. With Project Reunion, you can create and modernize your Windows apps seamlessly for both client and cloud endpoints with the new 0.8 SDK. When you build an app that uses Project Reunion, you get access to many powerful tools. You get coherent, modern interactions and UX, and using this mix of cloud and native features enables great system performance and improved battery life for your applications. We help you build experiences optimized for your device hardware with hassle-free app discovery and management, all future-proofed for ARM64. All of your Project Reunion apps can be built on top of desktop Win32 APIs and features that are available today. These features are not tied to the OS, allowing you to develop incrementally and at a much faster pace. Some of the features we're very excited to share as part of the Project Reunion effort are downlevel support to Windows 10 version 1809. Version 1809 is a long-term servicing channel and provides a large addressable market in the Windows ecosystem. .NET 5 support, which helps meet developers where they are, including WPF and WinForms. And WinUI 3 and WebView 2, which support modern, compatible UI development using the same technologies that Windows is built around. Let's take a look at how this works on a real application. In this case, the app is for a company that builds custom furniture orders. This app is a modern Win32 app built with Project Reunion and WinUI 3. The great thing about being built on Windows Desktop is how it lets me bring everything together. The powerful UI, the ability to connect to physical devices on the shop floor, and even to see the details of what we're building for the designer's order. If the users need more detail on the designs, they can click into the design instructions, which is a tab in the app hosted in WebView 2. This means that the content can be shared across many different clients and web scenarios at the company, providing a consistent and compatible way to access this information. Plus, adding it to the app was super easy since WebView 2 is included as a control in WinUI 3. From this app, the user can also access built-in calling functionality to quickly connect with the designer who submitted the order. Again, we can use Azure Communication Services to start the video call, which can connect with the designer who's using a full Teams client, just like Archana showed earlier. Let me show you how I enabled this. First, you can see this project is using the Project Reunion NuGet package to give me access to all those modern features in the application. Then in my code, you can see just how easy it was to connect to the Teams meeting from our custom furniture app. With almost no code changes, I'm able to join the Teams meeting and provide a great experience for our users. These are the types of enhancements we continue to make for the Windows platform. We are always searching for ways to empower the developer and unlock new opportunities for them to build great Windows apps. Back to you, Jeff. Thanks, Marianne. I hope you are as excited as we are about the news we've shared today. The latest Teams platform, including meetings, extensions, and Visual Studio and Power Apps tools. The latest graph APIs to make your apps more relevant and secure. And the latest Windows tools to create and modernize great Windows apps with a range of skills. For organizations and end users, we believe collaborative apps will transform education and work, helping people get more done and be more engaged all on the most secure foundation in the industry. For SaaS vendors and consulting firms, we believe collaborative apps hosted in Microsoft Teams represent the single biggest economic opportunity in tech. Thank you for attending and being part of the best community in tech and enjoy the rest of Build.